serendipitous. So you just, I think you always just make the right decision for you. I actually have a business degree and uh, work, my very first job was selling cars. So very, very, very different from what I'm doing now. I had always enjoyed working with clay, but did more sculptural type of work. Uh, and I thought if I were to do something with clay, I like functional objects. So pretty much every object I've made out of clay is an object I want to own myself. Um, it's just the shape of it, the size of it, the utility, uh, the color, the whole thing is just about um, being, you know, being true to who I am. Just self-taught. I took a one hand building class and then I started buying clay and just making it in my house and finding uh, places where I could fire it. And then uh, I got to the point where I was like, I need to buy my own kiln. And I have a small kiln, but I thought I'll start off with the size kiln. If I need something bigger, I'll buy something bigger. When I first started off, I wasn't really sure what direction I was going in. And uh, um, I thought, okay, I'll, I'm just gonna make a bunch of cups. So I made 50 cups. And then I was like, all right, now I have to glaze 50 cups. And after that was done, I was like, okay, I should photograph the 50 cups. <laughs> so I went to some uh, a place called Sanctuary Arts and worked with a friend of mine and we were photographing them and a woman came in and she saw the cups and she's like, oh my God, these cups are so great. And my son's getting married on an island. It's a small wedding and I'd like to buy half of those as a wedding gift um, for everyone. And I, and I thought, that's what you do. You make things and you it all works out. Everyone who approached my booth had a huge smile on their face and they're like, it's so cheerful. This is so happy. I love this work. And it was so nice because, you know, being in your little cocoon for a year, working on ideas, you you know, you look at what you're doing and you're like, oh my God, it's, I love it, but is it really silly or whatever? So I didn't know how anyone else would take it. And I, it was really nice that that was the very first reaction. And still, every show I do, people are always like, it's cheerful, I love it. There's tons of clay out there. And a lot of times some stuff just sort of blends into the same thing other people are doing. Um, so it's nice that I, I do have a real uh, distinctive look to it, even though it's, I, I feel like it's so simple, um, but it, it has a nice complexity to it as well. I think the hand building is definitely by far the, the most distinctive aspect of it. Um, that's where, that's what really grabs everyone is when they when they touch things so they all each piece is is unique but there's a uniformity to it all as well um, but I think that's you know it's that hand-built quality that I, people respond to I feel like colors flutter through my head and I pick out one and the all the other colors flutter until the, the one I, I really when I see it together I'm like that's it it's almost like a Rolodex of all these colors that go through my head and I was like, nope, that's the one. Like, that's the perfect shade for that perfect shade. I had probably had thought of working with clay, I would say for about uh, 10 years before I actually held a ball of clay in my hand. And when I, the first time I did, I was like, oh my God, I love clay. I love that clay is you know, you poke it and it moves. So any way you poke it, you can get it to do whatever you want. You just have to, um, clay can be, you know, when it gets thinner, it gets floppy. So you just have to know the boundaries of it and, and make it happen.